Captain Controversy is here. The James Whale Show on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Welcome back. Uh, the James Whale Show. I thought it would be nice at uh, the end of the week for me. Well, for me, the end of the week. Uh, I should be back on Monday with uh, probably Ash will be here on Monday. I'm not sure. I've, I've had a clear out of the team. I got rid of the producer. He was useless. Um, and uh, the assistant producer is just on a warning at the moment. And uh, I've given Ash um, a week off to consider his position. So it's going remarkably well at the moment, isn't it? Going remarkably well. I need a bit of soothing. And uh, why has he got up? Oh, he's coming in, is he? Right. Has he done something wrong? Because if he's coming in, he's done something wrong. I will. Uh, his. Pl- yeah. Are you, are you, what are you doing now? What? All right. I think she'll probably be fine because I think that these mics will pick you up. Okay. You're just building your part, aren't you? It's an engineer who doesn't talk. Very nice tattoos, though. Yeah, very good tattoos. Uh, now, let's welcome to the programme uh, Gaia Sanskrit. Gaia. Oh, sorry, Gaia. Gaia mm. Sanskrit, which can't possibly be your real name. No, it's not my real name. My real name's Gabriella. Oh, I quite like Gabriella. Mm. Why don't we do Gabriella Sanskrit? Gabriella's absolutely fine. Gabriella's my normal name. Gaia, yeah. my stage name. OK. And what, um, what exactly are you, um, if you don't mind me? I was a bit rude, I know. No, right? that's fine, because I'm a human like you, yes, James, I know fellow that. humans. But apart from... <laughs> well, I'm not sure that people would describe me as a fellow human, but there we are. <laughs> you seem nice to me. Yeah, but you don't know me. No, um, no. Right. OK, so tell me. So you are a professional thing me bobs. Professional singer slash I sing a lot in the language of Sanskrit. OK, now... I'm interested in this because mm. this is. Tell. T- let's talk about this. You don't have to play just yet. No. Okay. Let's talk about Sanskrit. What it is. Mm. Where it comes from. So Sanskrit is one of the oldest languages in this universe. It's at least six thousand plus years old, and it comes from the northern part of India. So it was once spoken in northern India, Thailand, Cambodia, Afghanistan, Iran, across that whole northern region and further over to the east. Mm. And it's not so much spoken anymore, although there are lots of villages in India which still speak it and it's a very pure sounded language and why why did you suddenly learn it I mean what 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 drove you to learn it because it doesn't seem to me it's not like you can go and travel abroad and bump into people where it will be very useful French or even Mandarin Chinese might have been more useful Mm, so why did I end up with this language Sanskrit really part of my system because I happened to go to a school in England that offered it and I just fell in love with it from a very early age from about age four because of the sound it gave me solace it really helps me through stress of London stress of life anything that causes me pain Mm. I use Sanskrit to get through that So do you think this language has some kind of magical property? You could call it magic, but obviously I don't believe in magic. I believe in, obviously, the effect of sound vibrations. I think the sound vibrations of this language have the capacity to soothe, to heal, to allow people to begin to relax and find themselves more in a state of self-contentment, yes. Even though people who listen to what you sing won't understand a word of it. Even though 90% of the population wouldn't understand a word, there's something about Mm. what I've found, the experience of just listening to the sound, which will settle you down. So if you're feeling stressed about, if you've just called into this show and you're Mm. stressed... You'd be stressed if you called (laughs) into me, that's for sure, yeah. Then you Mm. could calm down by Mm. listening to these sounds after. Well, that's what I thought we'd do in the final part of the programme this week. We'd just calm everybody down and give them a nice weekend. Okay, that sounds nice. Uh, there'll be people listening, sitting in the bath, listening to this, yeah. sort of relaxing somewhere. That, that, that would be good. Um, OK, so Sanskrit is something as well. Was it San- It wasn't Sanskrit they found in some of the pyramids, was it? Right? No, it's like that is not hieroglyphics, Sanskrit language. But yeah, yeah, but um, they did find it in some very old caves and places Very, like that. very old caves, at least 300 BC, mm. at least. But also, because it's such a potent language, it's been used in film soundtracks like the matrix uses it in in the trilogy it's it's used in the soundtrack and there's various films that have been based upon sanskrit stories and what can you tell me some of the sanskrit stories or not well i mean in brief there's a sanskrit story about 
a, a young man who's about to do something massive, a bit like Usain Bolt, say, about to run the 100 metres. He's been training all his life for this event. And just before he's about to run the 100 metres, he collapses. He just can't do it. He feels freaked out and scared. So this guy in the story, the same thing happens to him. He's about to go into a, a really nerve-wracking situation. He mm. collapses and is scared. And he asks someone for advice. And the advice he's given forms one of the most famous Sanskrit texts. It's like a 500-verse poem all in Sanskrit about how to get over such things as nerves, how to act in life in order to feel, you know, okay with your actions, how to come to terms with it. And have you read this poem? I've read it many times, yeah. And is it, I mean, is it a poem? Because poems are different to different uh, cultures, aren't they? Is it a, does it rhyme? Is it, it it's rhymes just, completely. It? That's what oh. makes it Sanskrit, all Sanskrit texts to me, mm. obviously, mm. are works of genius because there are thousands of them and amongst the thousands they all all many many of them are in rhyming poetry and precise meter that makes it so soothing to the mm. ear even if you don't know a clue what's going on and so what gave you the idea to put these because these poems are what you mm. actually have put to music aren't yes, they? What, yeah. what gave you the idea to do that well I guess because I used to sing a lot and then I sing Sanskrit myself but I've never sung I had never sung it to other people before mm. and then I started singing it to some people and they started closing their eyes and they started just enjoying it even though they didn't know what I was saying and then they even started wanting to join in with me again even though they didn't know what I was saying a bit like I guess Sigur Ross but sang in, an, in a random language and that that famous South Korean band mm. right now is singing in South Korean and even though we don't know it mm. we like it so I just, it was a natural extension of what I did for myself. And this it, has gone sort of, uh, it's gone viral, hasn't it? Some of your songs that have been out on... Some of the songs on YouTube, yeah. yeah. I mean, millions of people have downloaded them. And many people, and sometimes it gets shared on Facebook and millions mm. have listened on Facebook, mm. yeah. Well, I think we should, uh, before I take another break, I think mm. we should uh, we should hear one. Okay. Uh, first of all. What do you, but you better tell us what it's about, hadn't you? Well, the first one we could do, we could sing today, is simply like some of the sounds of Sanskrit, which remind me of, you know, when you look at some TV programs mm. about space yeah, and you look at them and you just think, wow, what is out there, you know? Well, we ought to listen, even, even the toughest, most horrible person <laughs> uh, must, if, on, a, on a dark, clear night, yes. sit and look at the, uh, the universe and wonder, what the hell am I doing here? Exactly. And mm. this is simply a song in Sanskrit expressing that question, expressing that wonder of the universe. So I think we should all bring the lights down slightly low. That would be nice. And listen to this. Mm. Okay, ready, James? Mm, I'm you ready. Relax. I'm very, well, you can't get much more relaxed than me, to be honest with you. Okay. I <laughs> Sanjya Prakaranam I unril reke yung I out I have a rat lan yamangananam Jabang Gada da da dash Kapa chata ta chata tau Kapai shasha sahal Itimaheshwarani sutrani Twam me priya sundaramasi 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 Tara tara tarai re tai Uttaro tara toru tai off 
That was lovely. I mean, that was absolute. I have no idea what you were singing, but that was lovely. You've got a really clear diction in your voice as well. Have in you always Sans- had that? In the Sanskrit language, I feel yeah. I can connect with it and say it clearly, yeah. And do you, I mean, do you, do you sing ordinary songs <laughs> in English? I mean, is that how you make made your living or mm, what? Or not? And sometimes I sing ordinary oh. songs in English, or I take ordinary songs in English, like the Beatles, mm. Let It Be... And then you could translate that into Sanskrit. You can do stuff like that too. Like, let it be in Sanskrit is bhavatu. So you've got bhavatu, 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 prajnavachanani vadan bhavatu. Golly gosh. That sounds great too. I might get you to do one of those. Okay. I wonder if you could do the works of Bob Marley in Sanskrit. Oh yeah, we could definitely do No Woman, No Cry. I mean, I can't right now, I haven't translated it mm. already, but you could do many of his. Mm. Three little birds sat on my doorstep singing mm. sweet songs. We could do that in I Sanskrit. I just loved Bob Marley, oh, I'm he, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Did you? I love him too mm. very much. Now, how did I? I didn't know that. Maybe we have a connection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's talk a little more about it. Sanskrit, mm. or, or uh, also, as far as I know, from what I can remember, there have been lots of books, historic books, written about how life was many years ago. Yes. Um, and uh, and some people have said that it opens up what the past was really like and maybe points us towards the future. Yes, well, in some way... She's putting her guitar on the floor. It, po- <laughs> it opens up to the past just in the sense of how humans psychoanalyze themselves mm. and how we looked at the nature of our mind and how we looked at the body. And there are thousands of texts in Sanskrit about medicine, about surgery, about mathematics, about mm. astrology. Any subject you name it has been written about in the Sanskrit language. So you can find out stuff that scientists are currently investigating now, link it together, and it would also guide experiments in the future have you learned stuff from sanskrit have i learned stuff i mean have you learned pra- stuff very ab- practical stuff you yeah mean? like what oh like for instance just about food you eat you know some foods make you tired some foods give you energy there's mm. sanskrit texts which speak about that so i've learned things like cooling foods heating mm. foods <laughs> stuff like that and well, do you want me to tell you some of yeah, them? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. I mean, you Well, know. like, because yeah. you have very red cheeks right mm. now, and I noticed how hot so you're you. looking. Yeah, I know, I'm quite hot mm. in here. So, like, It's got very hot in here, may I tell you. The, the other yeah. day, it got so hot in here, the windows steamed up. Gosh, and that was nothing raunchy going on. It was just heat from you. I'm not prepared to answer that. <laughs> no, but, yeah, that can happen. But it is hot in here. Yeah, I'm glad hot. you mentioned that. It is very Thank warm. you, Ryan, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah. mm. But for instance, there's texts on Sanskrit mm. medicine. It's pretty obvious, really. But like <clears throat> when you're when you're really hot, you would choose to eat cucumber. It would cool you down. I could actually go a cucumber at the moment, I yeah. suppose. But uh, he, he, what do they do now? He's turned it on. It's going to be freezing in around about ten minutes. And then you'd mm. have to have a tomato. They would heat you up. So there's various foods like, mm. amid, amidst all the food families. You see, I eat lots of curry. Maybe that's Do you, bad, That would but... definitely heat you up. According mm. to the Sanskrit texts well, on food, mm. curry would be like making you angry, making you frustrated if you're already prone to that type of behaviour. Well, maybe that's why I'm like I am. <laughs> I eat loads. Yeah. Yeah, especially Sanskrit texts would advise you personally mm. not to eat lots of chilli. I love chilli. I can't mm. help it. And, uh, uh, you know, garlic, chilli and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Yeah. What do you eat? I eat um, lots of soothing, hearty, wholesome yeah. foods. Because you you look quite hot at the moment. Do you get hot, or is it just being no, in here? No, I do get hot around mm. in a certain environment. Mm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the universe. Yeah. In fact, actually, before we talk about the universe, and you stop giggling. Uh, let's have another song. Another song, okay. Yeah. In fact, why don't you? Is there a, is there a modern song that you've turned into Sanskrit? Mm. Only that Let It Be one at the moment. Well, maybe you should sing that for us all the way through rather than just a little bit. Oh, all the way well, through. Not. I'm well. not sure I'd remember it all oh, okay. by heart, to tell you the truth. All right. But I could... You can sing whatever you like. You <laughs> okay. decide. I'm, I'm, you know, I could yeah. give you... I'd have to come back and do that one. Just wait till you're invited. <laughs> you okay, can. go on. <laughs> but I could give you a, l- a lullaby. You could try it. You, you, you're really keen to send us all to sleep, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, if you wanted. Or a Sanskrit chant, which would you prefer? Well, just a chant first. A chant you? first, yeah. Because yeah, you are a chantress. Yeah, I am yeah. a chant... Enchantress. Enchantress. So I'll give you a simple Sanskrit chant. Mm. 
What the hell is that? That's That's, just the background. Right. (laughs) That's like the noise of the aliens, but it's just simply a background drone that will keep me in tune. Oh, and that's on your phone? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Right, I'm I'm interested. Okay. Okay. (coughs) You ready? Ready. Om Vang me manasi pratishthita Mano me vachi pratishthita Hitam Avira Virma Edhi Vedasyama Anistha Shutam Mema Prahasi Rane Nadhi Tena Horatran Sandadhami Ritam Vadishyami Satyam Vadishyami Tanmamavatu Tadvaktaram Avatu Avatu Mam Avatu Vaktaram Om Shanti 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 I feel relaxed. Yeah, I feel, no, I do. I feel, I feel relaxed. Yeah, I feel like I want to eat another curry though. That's the only problem. <laughs> and if Sanskrit texts would advise you not to eat, no, no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> for four hours after, if you're going to go to sleep within <clears throat> four hours <clears throat> of eating, I do it all wrong, really, don't I? I'm amazed. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, um, when you when you so you must have learnt that it must have taken a long time for you to learn this. I mean. What well, made you decide to learn this language? Well, because what it says I found helpful, like mm. just life, some life advice, and also because I knew that the sounds, when I sounded them, I stopped thinking in English, and the English thoughts, self-criticisms, thoughts about world everything is all obviously in the english language for me so sanskrit filters all that out clears mm. my mind and it just gives space so that's really why. what did you do before this i mean were you an entertainer or um, i don't think you were why i don't know i don't know i just get the feeling that maybe you did something completely different yeah you would feel that um i mean i tried various things i tried mm. journalism for a tiny bit you don't want to do that no i couldn't no, no it's no, too it's, it's, Horrible. really horrible yeah. um i tried i did try stand-up comedy for a no a few did years. you yeah <laughs> and was on the circuit i mm-hmm. remember various people who are now famous on that same circuit yeah i remember them and then after i wrote musicals for a while mm-hmm. which is all the same type of thing i mean i'm not being rude but you don't seem very old um how old am i would you guess um you did that i was just <laughs> i can tell you how old you are oh mm. 37 no, that's way older. Is it? Yes, oh, okay. 33. Oh. See, well, it wasn't bad, was it, Rick? No. Come on, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Not bad. But... So you don't seem old enough to have done all that, that's all I'm saying. So why oh, okay. suddenly then teach yourself a language? Well, obviously, I learned it from many, many The only teachers. reason I thought you rolled is because yeah. it's very hot in here and yeah. we've both got very ruddy cheeks, yes. I would think, at the moment. Yeah. Yes, we look drunk, both of us. You speak for yourself? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Go on, do me a bit of comedy then. Why don't we do a bit of comedy uh, in Sanskrit? That would be fun. Uh, that it? would be good, yeah. Mm. But I used to do comedy and just have right. conversations with people yeah. like you, pretend to go on <clears throat> dates with people like you. Go on then, let's do it. But, but I'd have to ask you, what's your full name? Why? That's part of... That, oh, right, that oh, okay. Part. Do you want me to tell you the truth? Yeah, the truth. What's your full name? James Whale. So your name is James Whale. My name is James Whale. Nice to meet you, Mr. Whale. Nice to meet you, Gabriella. And then, and then you would ask me because you mm. wouldn't know my oh, name right. on okay. a date. We're, okay. we're, we just met yeah. on a blind oh, date. Oh, should we do it again? Should we start <laughs> yes. again? Right. Okay. So, do you want to start first? Let's say good evening or hello, <clears throat> hello, gorgeous. What's your full name? Well, that's very kind of you, James Whale. Yeah. Oh, what's yours, I'll sweetie? Say, hey, <laughs> I'm Gabriella Whale. Oh, oops. 
stuff like that. You I know. see. Right. I've already jumped to the conclusion. You see yeah. that we would. Well, haven't be an we? Part, item. We've sort of missed all the bit in the middle, and suddenly we're married. How did we get yes, there? But that was just a joke I used to do about oh, about right. my tendencies to jump ahead as soon as you yeah. met someone. Quite you know? a forward person in that case, aren't you? Yes, a very forward person. Yeah. Um, uh, the, Lee, listening to us at the moment, Lee has mm. just uh, texted in while he's listening. Oh dear. He said that was powerful. I close my eyes tight and the colours played around within my eyes. Watched a programme the other day called Ancient Aliens that talked about how the sound of drums can work different on parts of your mind and also uh, shamans, chants, work. Interesting stuff, says Lee. That's amazing that Lee said that because... Another thing about the Sanskrit language is when you sound it, it actually taps into different parts of the body. So it's like an inside drum. And that is when you sound it or when you hear it, it's like different medicine systems. Mm. Chinese medicine has this same system of meridians. So the sounds could actually produce healing. They can help cancer patients. They can help people who are recovering from operations because it soothes parts of the body and actually the vibrations heal. And we're, we're, listen, stay tuned, Lee. We're going to get um, Gabriella uh, to heal us a bit more in, in a while. So, OK, so uh, should we do some more comedy? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think was there's that a it? reason. That, the chatting up, that was <laughs> no, it, was it? No, that was it. That, your speed dating no, is pretty quick. I did a, also a musical about Boris Johnson, about the... I, I don't like to get political. I know you do, but... I, used I don't to. like to. It's just a question <laughs> of necessity in this day yes, and age. Yes, it is, yeah. Mm. I did write a musical <laughs> where he became Prime Minister. Mm. It was a Take the Mick musical, obviously. I'm glad, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Like, it was... And, and Russell Brand, the audience, mm. I asked the audience to vote who they would choose to Between be Russell Minister. Brand and Boris, yeah. there's not much of a choice there, is there, really? You'd be going down a very strange rabbit hole either way. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. But, but that went down quite well because I, I also had Hillary Clinton as president of the USA. Mm. This is all five years ago before all this kicked off. Yeah. And Nigel Farage was in it as I changed the names of them all. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have done. Mm. Nigel will be listening at the moment and uh, uh -huh. he may ring in. He uh -huh. does sometimes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because uh -huh. I think he'd like what you're doing with. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, now we uh, we have, of course, the fabulous Donald Trump uh, yeah. too. I won't hear a word said against him. I mean, it's so easy to ridicule this yes, poor man. Yeah. I think somebody has to love him. Well, do you know what they say in Sanskrit about stuff like this? What? Well, they say the more you hate someone, the mm. more it's just causing harm to yourself. Well, that's karma, isn't it? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah, no, I, I, well, I, I hate that commercial that's come again, those flipping fingers oh. that walk around. Isn't that the most disgusting it thing really you've ever is. seen? Because mm. they do not look like fingers. Look, that is horrible. No, I don't know how that got through. No, I don't. I really, I don't even know what they're advertising, but there we are. Oh, right. it's just horrible. No. Anyway, um, yeah, where were we? We were about... Um, not not hating people. Oh, yeah. Not a big, yeah. Gonna... Well, I spoke to a pacifist at the beginning of the programme, funnily the way this goes around, who, mm. uh, because he, he, the man who produces the white poppies. Oh. Um, so we were talking about that. And, of course, the world is no further forward as far as violence is concerned than it was about 10,000 years yeah. ago or, you know, whenever. Mm, the same combat's going yeah. on. So why? why? What is it about human beings that we've never advanced, do you think? Well, for me personally to answer, I would feel we're just not awake. We're, mm. we're not independent enough. We're too governed by what the media say, what the politicians say, what the big corporations say. And we don't look at ourselves and what we truly and deeply want, mm. need and desire. Have you got everything you deeply want, need <laughs> and desire? <laughs> right now. Mm, well, in, in your company. Oh, yeah, in yeah, my company, in, yeah. Well, you can only talk about yeah, the, present, the present, really. So it, right yeah. now, yeah, mm. I've got you. Mm. We're here to, with people listening. Mm. I yeah. have the water. Well, we were nearly yeah. married a few months ago, yeah. which was really worrying. But, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a little commercial break. Then we'll come back and we'll have another song. So you've got okay. time to think about it. All right. Okay. Uh, and I want you all to come back in a really relaxed state of... Can you feel the cold air coming? Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Come back in a relaxed state and maybe even run yourself a bath or get ready for a bath if you have a candle, light a candle. Take all your clothes off. Yes. Yeah. Lie down on the floor. Get ready. <sighs> Across the UK, online and on DAB. We are Talk. Talk Radio. Give it some lip.
At Homebase, we've got three for two on Dulux Coloured and Mixed Emulsion. Don't miss out. Offer ends Monday. Homebase, always low prices. Excludes Pure Brilliant White and Dulux Trade Brand. Clearance outlets and closure stores. Cheapest item free. Don't just layer up this autumn. Double up on points at John Lewis & Partners. This week we have offers across home, fashion and electricals and you can enjoy double points when you spend in-store or online on your partnership card. Speak to one of our partners to find out more about the benefits of our partnership card in-store today. Restrictions apply. Offer ends 28th of October. John Lewis PLC acts as credit broker for the partnership card. Credit subject to status from John Lewis Financial Services Limited. 18.9% APR representative variable. T's and C's apply. Frustration. Elation. When you meet him at the station. A kiss. The bliss of a passion you can't miss. A kind of mind you never thought you'd find. Untangle the twisted knot of finding your perfect partner at talkradiosingles.co.uk. It's the online dating service which connects you with like-minded local people looking for someone special. Try Talk Radio Singles today. You can join, set up your profile and even browse for compatible partners all for free. Talkradiosingles.co.uk. 100% soul connection. Monthly subscription applicable on activation. Philip Schofield here. I love that with WeBuyAnyCar.com, you could find out what your car's worth in 60 seconds. Then you can get back to doing whatever you were doing, like your hedge trim. You can't see, but I've sculpted a flamingo mid-flight, and I'm pretty pleased with it. To find out how much your car's worth in 60 seconds, enter your reg number now at WeBuyAnyCar.com. Admin fee may apply. For more information, see WeBuyAnyCar.com slash info. Talk radio, traffic and travel. Good evening. Starting in South Yorkshire, the M18 southbound has a lane closed due to a broken down lorry. That's at Junction 1 Bramley. We're seeing busy traffic on approach. In West Yorkshire, the M62 eastbound has a lane closed at the M1 at Loft House. That's following an earlier accident. Traffic there is easing. And in Lancashire, the M65 westbound entry slip road is closed at Junction 10 Burnley. Due to an accident, traffic is coping well. I'm Scott Davidson. Conventional attitudes, majority opinion, everyday compromise. Now you can leave it all behind. Way behind. Jaguar approved used. Winner of What Car Best Used Car Scheme two years running. Stay away from the middle of the road. Search Jaguar approved. Jaguar, the art of performance. Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. We wish to communicate with your leader. I'm Howard Hughes. Join me this Sunday night from 10 for a trip into the outer limits. Untwist the lid on Talk Radio's specimen jar of the psychic, the supernatural, and the simply unexplained. The Unexplained with Howard Hughes. Sunday night from 10, Earth Time on Talk Radio. 100% whale, 0% blubber. The James Whale Show on Talk Radio. Ah, uh, now welcome back to the James Whale Show. I've gone a bit soft and soppy at the end here. I'm really not sure this is good for my image, but there we are. Uh, so listen, it's uh, um, the last one of this week, and so I've invited into the studio just to put us all in a much better frame of mind to really clear our probably to to, to do something to our chakras. I would have thought if I even knew what those were. Um, uh, Gab, no, it's not. It's uh, Ga- Gaia. Gaia. Yes. Stage name Gabriella. Stage name, yeah. Real name. Yeah. Okay. Gaia Sanskrit. Now. If you would like to hear some of Gaia's work, which she's put up on the internet and suddenly has had millions of people, I mean, literally millions of people download it, uh, and you've now done an album. Yes. And that's not out yet, not is it? Not out yet, no. Can you stop scratching your head, please? It's really worrying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just checking, you know, what's you going on in there. Yeah, well, I hope nothing's going on in there, you know. Um, anyway, where were you? Right, okay, so uh, this is, uh, it's out, or it won't, it won't will be, be out. out, it will be Next out. Next year, early, early new year. Oh, for goodness sake, <laughs> you're going to make everybody wait. <laughs> yeah. And it will all be in Sanskrit. It's all in Sanskrit, but a lot of these songs are going to actually be Sanskrit mixed with English. I go yeah. from one language to the other, yeah. So that you know what I'm talking about in Sanskrit, you see. Yeah. So will you be, you've not sung anything in English yet, have you? Not tonight. Do you want to sing anything in English? I mean, it's entirely up to you. I've not got a lot of time left. But, no, let's you know. not sing anything in English. No? No. Okay, fine. 
Let's have another song. What okay. are you going to sing this time? Well, right now I'm going to sing a song that a mother sings to her son, in, and it's from a famous ancient Sanskrit text, and she sings it to her son when her son is just completely distraught of being born into this negative world, this world... Would he die? Or oh, she... Oh, son, yeah. He, yeah would, she's would he... singing it to her baby boy. Yeah, her and son. he's just been born. He's just been born. And he in... came out of the womb and thought, what a sh yes, shocking exactly. place this is. Yeah, yeah. And, and as a result, she's singing to him, reminding him that throughout all this shocking nature of the world, mm. there's something in you that is exquisite and beautiful. Never mm. lose sight of that. That mm. is in you always, yep. no matter what or who you turn out to be mm. or what happens all right uh, i see our, our uh, religious friend uh, well god um, fearing friend ken has called in uh, what i suggest ken is you listen to this and and maybe you uh, you take some solace from my spirituality which is coming from uh, having gaia sanskrit in the studio with me Okay, you're ready. Because he thinks I'm going to burn in hell. Oh, I see. Mm. No, I think I think according to Sanskrit, James has such a pure, innocent soul, or rather essence. You don't. You could call it anything. Mm. You can feel it when I'm with James. He's such a great person to be around. So, what are you after? <laughs> I'm not after. Well, I don't know what it is you're after. <laughs> I'm really not after uh, anything. Are really, you sure? Yes, okay, sure. fine. No, you carry on. Babe. I only go by vibe. What I feel do about you? someone. Right. Yeah. See, Ken, you know what you can do. Uh, right. Are you doing this with your thing or your what's it? I'm doing it with my thing. Okay, fine. Shasunum Vikalpya mana Vividhair kunaiste Gunascha bhauta Sakalendrieshu Bhutani bhutai Paritur palani Vridhim samayanti Ateha pungsa Ambanupana Tasmat na tasty ridhi chata tasty hani. Do you know? I don't know what it is about that. It does sort of make me feel good. I must admit. And have you got on this album that comes out next year that'll be called Gaia? Gaia, all oh, right, Gaia. The, the debut album. Gaia. Yeah. It was another one. Spelt G A I E A. Gaia. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there a single on it? Do you think do, do people do singles anymore? I'm never really sure. Yeah, there yeah. will be a single yeah. on that. Got any idea what it might be? It's called Indescribably. Have you played it yet for us or not? No, I haven't played can it. Can you play it for me now? Mm, I can give you a, a section of it 
a soupçon. A soupçon of mm. it. Yeah. So yeah. there's the drums, there's all the live band, yeah. which I don't have with me right now. You've got a band as well, haven't well, you? Well, we would play mm-hmm. with a DJ mm-hmm. and, a, and a drum. I wish I'd known because I had a couple of beatboxers in the show last night. That would night. have been perfect. They would have done it. And they could have done it to And them. cheaper. Yeah. Because they didn't have to bring the music, musical instruments exactly. with them. Exactly. Yeah. That would be really yeah. great. Do you play your guitar on this one? No, I don't. Oh. You see, I only play guitar for chanting and for mm. small songs. In the band, I just sing. I oh, just right. Just sort Stand of sing. and sing. Do you? Yeah. Do you have a sort of a dance you do, or you? Sort I of... always dance when I sing. Do you? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, because the music will begin to move you, yeah. so I sort of <clears throat> float <throat> around. Yeah. Well, I've noticed everything you've done. Your hands have been very movable. Yeah, mm. I I just go with where it takes me. So if I was mm. standing, I'd be moving quite a lot. Now, more. although I don't like to sully anything with money, oh, I no, mean because yeah. it would be. But I mean, are you doing? Are you are you doing gigs at the moment? Is you is this how you earn your living, or is there another way you're? Um, I earn my living a lot by I teach a lot of Sanskrit to people. <laughs> I I teach some philosophy of Sanskrit. Mm-hmm. So that's how I earn my living. Right. And singing. And is that, is that, a, that presumably that is a reasonably lucrative? Mm, I, I wouldn't say so. And enough to live on. Mm. Yeah. 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 Reasonable amount. But what's, I mean, uh, what sort of person wants to learn the, the um, philosophy on, of Sanskrit? Well, behind all this. Yeah. Well, so many Londoners now are crazy mm. about yoga. So all those people. I don't think that's just in London. I honestly, no, I think that is all, all over. over. Yeah, I yeah. have a friend who's doing it. Really? And she says she's just not very bendy, but yeah. she'll probably get bendier. Yeah, and yeah. that doesn't really matter, the doesn't bendiness. It? No, it's more about being able to be with where you are right now, mm. sitting with it, and then just repeating it. Oh, I thought you had to be able to put your, your, head, <laughs> your legs behind your head or you sort of... What was that down with dog thing that makes everybody laugh? Yeah, you could do your down with dog. But when you look at Sanskrit, what Sanskrit says about yoga, the physical is just the last manifestation of it. What it's really about is what's going on in the mind. I was going to say something very deep about relationships, and I decided not to. No, I'm not not going to. No, no, sometimes uh, the the psychology of, uh, of what's going on in the mind is is sometimes more pleasurable than what goes on in the flesh. Yeah. Is that right? I feel very much so. You yeah. could, and you could, if you can begin I don't know why I'm being so deep there. like this tonight. I might become, maybe I'm going to become a guru. Yeah, maybe. Do you, think, maybe you never know, do you? You never no. know. Now, I, I, I'm not, I, I have to keep an eye on things going around. Mm. That's why I keep, it's a bit disconcerting. Yes. And I have to keep looking at that. Um, so I've got about five minutes left. So yes. should we do a bit of music now? Should we do a little, or do, do your single? Do you want to do a little of the single or? What would you like to? Can, what would you like to do? What would, I yeah, like what would to do. you like to do? I mean, I can give you a little bit of it. Mm. I forgot the reason why I can't use the guitar is I forgot the. Uh, I didn't expect to do it, so I didn't bring the capo. You know, really? Yeah, that would go on it so that I oh, could do it. Right. But if I had that, I yeah. could have done it. Yeah. I mean, I can give you a little bit of it. Yeah, or you you, you, you could do some Bob Marley, I suppose. <laughs> really. <laughs> you sing no woman no or uh, um you could do it and then i'd have to translate it live on air in <laughs> no i meant in english i mean oh you know, i see I yeah see, but yeah. i don't I, you know i can never remember lyrics to songs do you, are we allowed to sing covers in english on radio without being asked for copyright well i don't care i'll mm. leave it to the producers to sort out who cares <laughs> i think the i think the rule is 30 seconds and no more yeah but yeah you can sing a bit if mm. you could do a bit of Bit, bit of Bob Marley, yeah, that'd be great. And what's your, what's that song that? Is Do you know Redemption song? Can you sing a bit of it? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Actually, I found, I um, uh, many years ago I, I had cancer and I yeah. was in hospital, uh, and one of our uh, listeners to the program, oh gosh, what was his name? Forgot now. But he came to the hospital where I was, mm. and he brought me a tape, a cassette tape, because mm. we're talking about twenty years ago, uh, of all the songs of Bob Marley. Oh. And I used to lie in hospital with with the headphones on and just listen to it over and over again. Mm. And, and there's something about you, it. Oh, yeah. absolutely, yeah, yeah, really absolutely. Did. I mm. feel Bob Marley a deeply spiritual person mm. and connecting to that joy inside us, yeah. and it comes through his yeah. songs. Yeah. What's that? Three little birds. Song? Three little birds song. Do you know that one? Do you remember the lyrics? Mm. Three little birds sat by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true, saying, "This is my message to, to you." To you. That's right. Okay, yeah. So it goes like. Mm. 
Three little birds sat by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true, saying, "This is my message to you. Don't worry about a thing." Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. I say, don't worry, yeah, about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright, yeah. Don't worry, James, about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. <laughs> Very good. You've got a great voice. You have a beautiful voice. Now, listen, tell everybody where they can get your, uh, they can hear your songs, because they're up online, a lot of them, aren't they? They're up online. If you want to hear any of them in, in full, you can go to youtube.com mm. forward slash Gaia, G-A-I-E-A. -E yeah, don't go to Gabriel <laughs> because you will just go get nothing. YouTube.com forward slash mm. Gaia Sanskrit. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the we won't do the little bit of the single. No, no, uh, because save I think, that till I when think, it does actually yeah, come. Yeah, I think that's what you want to do, isn't it? You want to save that, really yeah. and truly. Yeah. Um, and uh, are you performing anywhere in the near future or um, not? I host open evenings once a month. Do you? The next one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it just does. Yeah, I got um, one on seventeenth of November where you'll be able to hear lots of singing from yeah. me in West Brompton. Yeah. But if you wanted, we could end with the Sanskrit that comes from the Matrix. Oh, do I have to do that sort of bending backwards <laughs> and flying around the yeah, studio and you stuff would like that? To have yeah, to do that. yeah. Mm. Um, okay, tell me how how many minutes have I got actually left? Uh, oh, fifty seven so far. Yeah, uh, a minute and a half. Do you reckon you could do it a bit? Would, yeah, it would only take a few seconds. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Mm. Oh, it was longer in the Matrix. <laughs> right. You ready? Go on. So this is from the Matrix. It means lead me from the unreal to the real. Lead. And what was happening in the film when this was played? In the film, it's in the Matrix too. I think mm -hmm. it comes towards the end. It's like as it's like su summarizing the yeah. message <laughs> of the Matrix. Okay. So it's like credits. Mm. And lead me from what is not real to the real. Lead me from the Matrix to what I mm. what is outside it, basically. So true. Mm. So so true. Mm. Yeah. Go on then. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Um. Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityor Mamritang Gamaya Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityor Mamritang Gamaya Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mritang Gamaya Thank you very much. I'm back Monday. Ian Lee is next. Being able to sort of mention somebody's name before there has been any kind of trial or investigation, in a way. Uh, it seems to me that the, that the MPs have uh, protection that uh, they could abuse. Why don't we all just get offended by everything? The next time I hear that trail about me being a slaphead, I am suing this company. I'm not getting shirty with you. I'm sure you're wearing just a t-shirt. How do you know that? <laughs> I just know these things. Check around, guys. Let's make sure he's not in the building. And this woman was phoning up and saying, I will put a spell on you if you don't send us some money and all this. Well, get ready for a bath if you have a candle, light a candle. Take all your clothes off. Yes, yes. Lie down on the floor. Get ready. Radio. Join the Talk Nation. Pick up your phone and talk radio. We'll get you talking. Hi there, I've got a package from Mr. Peters. Oh, lovely. We're just up the stairs. Past the archer turret, up the 80-foot hot tar wall, over the moat with the crocodile, then left. 
Okay. But if you see a wall of sharpened logs, you've gone too far. So go right until you see the steel spiked gate. Go through there, then over the narrow bridge with a sharp drop. Right. And we're the lilac door surrounded by the wisteria in full bloom. Fortify your home with BT Broadband. All our customers get BT Virus Protect with McAfee and parental controls included as standard. BT. Be there. So, kids, what are we going to do today, then? Library? Park? Ooh, could go shopping? Uh, Nan's house? Kids? Kids? Bored this autumn? Get a last-minute Haven holiday from £99 with the Sun Holiday Shop. You'd be conkers not to. Visit thesun.co.uk slash holiday shop. T's and C's apply. The Dictionary of Driving by Mazda. Today, the letter D. D is for dullophobia. The fear of driving the same dull company car that's on every other driveway. But with a Mazda 6 company car, we found a cure. With outstanding fuel efficiency and dynamic design, the Mazda 6 will help you fight against the dull. Ideal for company car drivers who need a high quality and reliable vehicle. Available with real world emissions from 117 grams per kilometer and benefiting kind from 111 pounds per month. Search Mazda Fleet. Mazda. Drive together. Company car tax at 20%. Across the UK, online and on DAB. Talk radio, on the hour news headlines.